Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin, principal of Simply Improve Health, and I help people to train better and longer, have improved sleep, and enjoy better quality of health using simple plant-based and native to the body products and simple techniques. This week, um, for a, this, today's live, um, it occurred to me that um, as I listen to people as during the week, that we don't give enough credence to our words. Words really do have power. Um, you know, I think about that, that sh little children's rhyme, you know, about sticks and stones and words can never harm me, but that's not actually true. Words have power and words can heal and words can wound. I mean, think about three little words somebody may say to you and you're on top of the world. In, you know, in another instance, three little words can break your world. So um, words can, can do all kinds of things in our life. They can act as agents for positive change or can cast us into the depths of despair. I mean, think about the, the th phrases that we throw, throw around so commonly, you know, oh, that's so stupid, or you're being stupid, or you're not capable of this, or you're no good at this, I'm rubbish at such and such. Those are the kinds of words we're throwing around all the time without thinking about it. But every time we say something, we start something. And what I mean by that, um, I mean, um, just digress for a second here. Um, you've probably heard of the book, The Secret, that everybody's talking about. And, that, you know, the secret is that really it all boils down to this. All of the people in, that the, this book has been based upon have all said the same thing. Thoughts are things. Thoughts and consequently are words have power. We are creative beings, whether we're creating children or recipes or new symphony, we are creative beings. So every time we open our mouth, we are creating something. Now, what we need to create depends on what it is that's coming out of our, uh, you know, from our heads out of, and out of our mouths. So if we're creating, engendering positive things say, you know I can do this I will be a success I am you know a good friend and neighbor to other people that's what will manifest and that's what we will be will be reflected back to us by other people however if we're putting out I'm rubbish I'm no good I'm too short I'm too fat I'm too this I'm not that. That's exactly what you, you're going to get. What you say is what you get because words have power. Thoughts are things. It's, if it already exists in your head, in the ether, it's, it's a matter of putting it out into the, into the outer world to make it manifest. And how do you do that? You have intention and you speak. I intend to do such and such. So words are not just a means of communication. They are a statement of intention to the universe. And what you put out there is what ultimately you will get back. So if you're putting out there negativity, if you're putting out there I'm rubbish, if you're putting out there, um, you know, people treat me bad, if I, you put it out there I'm a victim, Guess what? That's what you're going to get because you, what you, you put out there, what you expect is exactly what you get. Words have power. And I challenge you to think about as you go through your day, how are you using your words? What are you saying? Not only to other people, but what are you saying to yourself? Because remember, when you're talking to yourself, be careful. You are listening. Yes, you are listening. Even when you think you're not listening, you are listening to the thoughts that you have and the words that you speak. And if you're putting in there, I'm rubbish, I'm no good, you know, and treat me bad, women don't like me, whatever it is, 
you're going to get what you say. So it would be a good idea to police your thoughts and your words because even if, you know if whether you you have a um, a particular follow a particular faith or not all religious traditions will say the same thing as a person thinks so is he or she yeah so whatever that is that's running around in your head that's going to impact how you think, how you feel about things, and what you say to people. Now, think about this. If, you know, on a given day, somebody can say something to you, and they could be joking, but you just fly off the handle and take it completely the wrong way, and it wasn't intended to be hurtful or in any way. But you were in a state of mind where the words affected you and you reacted to them. You know, I mean, we tell our children all kinds of things as they're growing up to, and hopefully teaching them um, things, and uh, you know, to look at life in a positive way and to, to be resilient when things don't go their way. But if we're telling, you know, even innocent remarks like, oh, don't be stupid or don't feel that way, or you shouldn't think like that. Think about what you're telling them. Not to trust their feelings. Not to, to have their own thoughts. Not to, to, have, to believe in themselves. Words have power. Thoughts are things. And if you wish to create, the, uh, tr truly create, a life that, that is beneficial for you as well as pleasant for the others around you, you need to think about what you're saying. It reminds me of two things my mother always used to say to me when I was growing up. It's not what you say, but how you say it. In other words, you can tell somebody, you know, jump off a cliff or take a long walk of a short pier, but if you do it sweetly and with a smile, they may actually oblige you as opposed to, you know, getting their hackles up because you're coming at them and stepping to them in a, in a you know, very aggressive and negative way. The other thing my mother used to say, and I think is, is still a good advice, is if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything. Just smile. A smile can cover a multitude of sins and attitudes. And even if behind your smile you're gritting your teeth, at least it's a smile, as opposed to saying something that could be harmful or hurtful. Yeah? I challenge you in the days to come to think about your words and what you're creating with them as you put them out there. Because once you put those words out there, you can't call them back. You can't tug them back and rope them in and, and corral them and take them, take them back. They can, words can be forgiven, but they will never, ever be forgotten, especially if you've said something that was hurtful or painful to someone. They will never forget, even if they forgive you. So as you go through the coming days, doing a little experiment and and maybe you know if you're somebody who you know who curses a lot, have somebody you know charge you a pound or you know a dollar or whatever it is for every time you curse, just to to give you an idea of how much is of what we say is conscious and how much is not. Um, we say a lot of stuff. We talk a lot of trash. <laughs> you know, 90% of it um, gets misunderstood or miscommunicated, <laughs> and we cause ourselves trouble. The two, the greatest misunderstanding between two people is language, is communication. So if we're not communicating in a loving and in the highest and best way possible, what are we creating? Think about that. 
So I'll leave you with those thoughts. This is a, sh a shorter live today, but I thought it was important that people stop um, preferring words and throwing bombs, verbal bombs at one another um, without just stopping at least for a split second and thinking about what they're saying. Is it kind? Is it helpful? Is it necessary? Ask yourself those things because what you say is what you get and you may be creating a world of trouble for yourself inadvertently often because you couldn't keep your mouth shut for two seconds and think about what you were going to say. You know, it's like engage the brain first before engaging the mouth. It really makes a difference. So I leave that with you. I thank you for joining me. If you have any comments, please leave them. If you have any, would like to leave emojis, love hearts, thumbs up, whatever it is, leave those. If you disagree with me completely, disagree away. Leave a comment or send me a message. I'm always happy to, to respond. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a wonderful evening and a fantastic week. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.